Hello, so in this video you will learn how to make a holding animation for your character. So first, you've got to have a tool that you can hold. So, you know, basically just go to workspace, go here and type tool, just insert tool, and then inside this tool, you put a, a part that's called handle, and then the other parts, like you make your own, like, model, right? The part that's handle is going to be held by the player. So you basically put it in here, and then it's all good. Make sure to weld everything with, like, the weld option, and then now this tool can be picked up. And once this tool can be picked up, you want to, like, pick up a bowl if I play the game, like, like right now, look. If I went, and then I walked to the, this tool, it could be picked up. But that's, um, that's that. What we want to do next is we want a holding animation, right? So we want to insert a, a rig, so, uh, go to avatar, go to rig builder, and go to block rig. It depends on what kind of animation, like, you're doing. If you're doing an R15 or R R6, um, usually it's just R15, so in this tutorial I'll just do R15. But it's the same thing for R6, just select R6. 6, I mean, just block avatar, and then put this tool inside the rig of this avatar. And then we want to click on animation editor. We want to click on this rig. Oops. There we go. And then you create a new animation, like so. And then you position your model. Uh, position this character onto the idle animation you want, like so. For example, you want to be holding the sword like this. So once this is done, make sure to click here, and then we want to set priorities. This is very important because if you don't set your priorities higher, then the animation won't play correctly, and we want to change it to action. And once this is done, we want to publish to Roblox, and then it can be named whatever you want, and save. Once this is saved, click here, copy this ID. Once that is done, make sure to definitely copy the ID or else it wouldn't work. So that that's that. Once you copy the ID, you want to you want to create a local script, which I've already created. It's like very simple script, which makes your character hold something. So it's in replicated storage. I'll just grab it and onto the tool, which I need to add. The tool is inside the rig, so we grab this grab this tool outside the rig. We want to put it to starter character. So this way, once you start the game you will have the... Oops, it's not starter character, I mean you want to put this in starter pack, not starter character. But once you have this in starter pack, you start the game, then this tool will be equipped into your inventory, like like this. Tool, and then you'll have this equipped. Once we have this, we want to add um, animation. Well, no, we want to add a script, a local script first. And then we want to add under the local script an animation. Like right here, animation. We want to paste the animation ID. So we click on animation, right? There's an animation ID. So we can copy and paste. So we control V since we already copied it from the, the animation we've made. So put it here and then click somewhere else. Now this animation is valid. This is now the animation. Now we go to the script we've already made. Double click. I disabled it because, you know, it doesn't work in replicated storage. I just have it there for storage purposes. And this script is basically we have the tool, we have the player. We have the player, the purpose of getting player, local player, is to get its humanoid. Because you need the humanoid in order to play the animation. And we need the tool in order to know when the tool is equipped or not. So this is like extremely simple. We got the humanoid, so we got the load animation, and then play this animation. This animation is script.animation, which is the animation underneath it. We want to play this animation. And then when we want to play this animation, we want to play it when the tool is equipped. You know, play the animation. So right now, if we played it, click and we'll play this animation every time we click so uh, this is how you do it thank you